Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactonic Questions and today I want to have a look at a little application called Moo. And it's a nice text application. What's nice about it is that it has the markdown version over on the left hand side here and in the same application in another pane you've got the converted into HTML version. So I can do the stuff like this here. I want to turn that into bold, so Command and B. And you can see that straight away it turns into bold over on this side over here. So it's nice to be able to see straight away and not have to click on save to be able to see the HTML so I really quite like that and you've got the uh, command and I to go to italics of course you can do lists on here too so you can start by just typing in the one okay so so that's how easy it is to do a numbered list or you could do a bulleted list like this so again that's very very simple to do that you can do things like uh, horizontal lines. So if I put in uh, three of those, how easy is that then? Okay, so let's get rid of this for the moment. We don't need that. It's nice as well that you can see very clearly when you selected something. I could change that pink color if I wanted to, and I might have to do that because that pink is a bit too bright, but still. Okay, so that's the sort of things you can do there. These are my links at the bottom. These are the reference links, and this video magical refers to this bit here. So that's the way I prefer to do it have the links at the bottom and have these codes in here to show it makes it just that bit more easier to read so what else can you do well you can do things like if you put in uh, some tildes so if I put a tilde there and go to the end of that word there and put a tilde in there it gives me a strike through look that's quite useful isn't it if you want to do strike throughs there I can put an image in there okay so let's have an image in there so there you go, let's put an image in there for me. Now when you put an image in like this, then you can't do the thing where you have the text flowing around it, so you have to do that within the HTML code afterwards. But I'm probably more likely to go into Mars Edit and put my HTML code into there, and then put the pictures in there as well, because I can just do a drag and drop with that. Here I can copy the HTML. Let's open up text, mate. So I can show you what the HTML looks like. Command V. So this is the HTML code that it's uh, made. Now the HTML code on this one here is a little bit more simple than you get from some of the other applications I use for creating the HTML code out of Markdown. In this one here we've got the H2 tag but we don't have the ID code in there. So for instance if I go to Byword, this is our Markdown we have in there. So I want to see what this is going to look like. I have to do a Option Command and P to be able to see it. So if I copy this HTML now, so I'll copy that. So let's go over to Text Edit again. Go to the end of that, put a bit of space in there. So there's a couple of little differences, but uh, I think uh, for a lot of people this is going to be good enough for converting your markdown into HTML. So what else can we do with this here? Let's go to Preferences and click on this here. We've got General. We can show Live Preview all the time, show the words counter. Here's the word counter up at the top there. Well worth having a look at that there. We can have play key press sound. Let's have a look at that and see what that uh, is like. So doing some typing in. Now isn't that going to be annoying? <laughs> so that's something that you're going to want to get rid of fairly quickly. So there's some useless things in there as well. So let's get play key press sound, get rid of that. In the editing with this here, you can change the fonts of this here. So with the fonts there, I can say that instead of having Verdana, I could have it in Times. But I like it in Verdana, and I'll save it, save it as that. Or you can change the size of it if you want to. But I like to have nice big text in Verdana, so it's nice and easy to read as I'm working with it. Also, you can go to Themes and change some of these. So, for instance, I might change this to Moo Night Plus. So, that's okay. Some people like to um, have a black background and colored text on top or white and colored text on top but I don't or we can go for a moo paper I tend to go for this one here called move fresh air and I get more colors in there but if you want to what you can do is you can edit this by going to this here and you've got these text files which gives you all the details of how that's going to change this text in here so let's just press on the spacebar to have a quick look in this here and if I want to change the background and foreground colors, all I've got to do is change these codes in here. So these are all HTML type codes, and so you can work at these in a HTML editor to work out what the codes should be if you want to change the uh, way that the 
one code looks on this side of the document. And also, if you want to change what things are looking like on this side, you can go to your CSS. The moment it sets for clearness, we can change it to this one here. Or this one here. So just different ways of looking at your documents with CSS. And you can obviously make your own custom CSS ones. Let's just go back to clearness. And if I want to edit that, I can go to clearness SS CSS there. And this is all your CSS in there. And so you can open that with a text editor or a CSS editor and change it to how it looked the way that you want it to look. So let's go back to Moo or Moo or Mao or however you want to pronounce that. So I think this is quite a good little application. At the moment it is a beta version. I have found that if I go to this up here and go to browse all versions, it has crashed on me once when I did that. I got the Starfield thing with all the versions and I couldn't do anything. All I had to do was to get my force quit option up there and get out of it. So thanks for taking the time to have a look at this podcast about Moo. I hope you uh, give it a try and you might like it. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to go to the Wizard Gold channel on YouTube and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new video podcasts that come up there. And also click on the like button. When there are more likes on there, it means that the videos get found easier by other YouTube users. Thanks very much for that. So this is Dave Allen signing out. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.